Sorry, guys. Oh. Yo, guys, what's up? Um, today I'm going to be showing you a couple of working levels. Um, let's get started. That is all of them. So next, nah, I'm joking, guys. Alright, so let's go for my loops. First of all, we have got our blades. Now, blades are my favourite. Um, hold it a bit more for you guys. It's just heating kind of far from my camera. So, yeah. Red blade, the red fin center going nuts with the red, so. Alright, it's like it. Um, shiny, silver, which would be good. Gold, I guess, um, black eyes. And it's. One slash two. I'm not sure the read on the weights and all that guys, so forgive me for that. Um, I've never really paid attention to brand names, but all I do know is this is a bloody blade. <laughs> um, next few lures I haven't tried out yet, but these are what I got. These four, which could be all hooked to each other. We have this here, down here. Um, gold and black, it looks alright. At the time, come in a bring pack, so I'm pretty happy about it. We'll see how that goes. Um, on Sunday, when I go through like the red thing, this one here, come in the same pack. We'll see how that goes. This one did not come in any other pack. I bought it separately, probably not 15 bucks. It looked alright. It had a nice white big bib for the size of lure. Uh, stump jumper, I'm assuming. Oh, I don't know. Once again, I'm sorry, guys. I sort of just really got into the freshwater fishing. But I seem to kill the crop, so I'm not ready, so yeah. This one coming in the brim pack, I do not have a clue what I'm going to do with this. It's just, it come with it and I've really had an option to get it on it. And two, and then two on their own were more expensive for the other pack. Really guys my vibes. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... Crazy vibrator, um, red, ripping like the red, so I thought why not. Um, savage gear vibe. Um, not small treble hooks. Probably, this is probably going to be the thickness of my pinky, just a little bit less. So I mean, it's a small fish. Um, this one, same vibe, but I uh, it's not even the vibes, right? It's Savage Gear, but it's a, it's a plastic one. Um, better sinking, fishing deeper waters, big hooks, um, Murray Cod, I reckon it should be for. I'll tackle Murray Cod with this. Um, seems a lot quicker and gives a pretty decent action, actually. So, big circles too, so, more the bigger fish. Not a vibe on a nice sunny day where the water's nice and clear. Not clear why they like gum leaves in there, so the water's not black. Um, nice little trebles. Um, once again, plastic. So plastic, not a hard body. That's the why I reckon it's for the sunlight. It has no vibrations whatsoever. So, a little blue dot on top of the gear. It's actually supposed to be everything. I was one. And they go pretty good on the little cod. And even the, we get the oh, average. Oh, sorry, you'll get them once you're in. Now and then, big problem pass is a little bit dry. Next. <coughs> Next. We have our Savage Gear Vibrator. That sounded wrong. <laughs> Savage Gear Vibe. This five nice size triple hooks. Um, same size as that first one I showed you guys and that last one. Just then, not the big one. Um, nice blue silver. Very nice colour. Very good vibrator. Um... Handy for your dark water, gummy, polluted water. The reason why I got it. This is especially for the gummy water. Um, not because it's white, it got recommended recommend to me by BCF actually to get this one. So a new lure that Ballista brought out. And actually, if you want to show the camera, there. They glow red when, the, when they're in the water, so it's a bit hard to activate your hand, but you get it. Um, and the red pin, absolutely love it. It's flashing red, they like the colour red. Put two and two together, they absolutely smash them down. That's a cool way that works. Sensor in the steel. Push the steel, just a little tiny bit of white that water puts on. That's cool. Oh, no, I don't want to do it. I'll break it. No, I didn't. Cool, guys. Sorry about that. 
Um, next we have our Zimmons. Woo! Um, yellow, black, and sparkle in them. This one here, um, rigged up. There you go. With a one of six. So one slash six. Sorry about the measurements. Don't know what I'm on. Nice, decent size hook. Dog a prick to get on. I will tell you that. Absolute bastard of a thing. But thickness of my. I don't know. Thickness of my. Thickness of my nails, pretty much, besides my pinky and my thumb. But thickness of these nails. All these nails. Thank you, so pretty good little long hook. Next we move on to the Tasmanian Devils. I have four of them, I've got them in the pack, I've got number two in here, one in my rod. I'll show you in a sec, my rods, and I'll tell you about our setups. Um got an orange on green, my spot colours. These one here. The red, red fin, love the colour red. It's not because they're named red fin, they're like, oh no, duh. Um whoopsies. <laughs> No, they're called red fin because their their fins are red. For God's sake, people are kind of the rest of you for some reason. Why they call it red fin? They like the color red. I mean, there's not. Oh, so you get splashed orange here. They're not that good with their colors in the dark water yet. So like they get the orange, the red, yellow, um, the black. Now I'm joking. <laughs> now but you get like orange, your nice know, orangey color. Um, they're gonna. They still like that color. They like the very bright colors. Um, give this video a thumbs up for Fox. Of course, Fox, I love my Fox hats. Um, give it a thumbs up for Unit, I love Unit. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to have a quick talk about my setups. What I'm running at the moment is a overhead rod. Um, I'm not sure what the name is. Um, it is a spot fisher. The length is 1.65 metres. Line class four to seven kilos. I run four point four. I run four point five kilos on my rods. I like a light rod. Um, cast weight fourteen to fifty grams. Um, I say I buy that sometimes. <laughs> um, spot fish rod. It's an angler five point six. Um, bait cast combo was in. Um, and I got it. Let's see what it says there. I was reading that to you guys. Um. Same thing here, it's got an Angular 3000 Rion, the gear radio is 5.61, um, a free ball bearing, which I'm very happy with um, for how much I pay for it. It's a very nice reel, there's a clean up too actually. Um, I'll pull it apart and give it a bit of a little lube up, because I don't think I've done it for a while. Um, a bit of Vaseline in it, that works very nice guys. Vaseline that lasts a while. Even just a bit of spray WD-40 if you're going out, do something real quick. Um, so, one second, I'll just do something. Um, 98 yards it holds. Uh, mine, 120 meters. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 120 RN. Um, once in five yards. So it's like telling you a different line of radio. Um, so, 9LB line, 98 yards. Oh, sorry, 131 yards for 10 pound line. Um, I have one of my Mark Blade in here. Um, blue with the pink on the bottom. They love the pink and the red and the orange like them colours. Um, a bit of gold and silver. Very nice rod overhead reel, obviously. Like, you press that and you hold out your phone so you don't press. I see the light on the roof. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> um, so I kind of control it with that. Um, I'll do. If one person comments, can you teach me how to use an overhead reel? Um, I'll happily do a video on it um, when I'm fishing at Cherry Lake this Sunday, so you're gonna let me know in the next few days. Um, I'm going fishing at Cherry Lake, so yeah, I'll put a bit of couple um, vids up. Hopefully, I get some fish. If not, I'll just get a couple of vids of you know just a view. <laughs> um, we have our second one here. This is a I don't know how many bearings? Are. I think it's a free ball bearing as well. It's a gear radio. Oh, sorry, it's got two ball bearings. Yeesh. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's been a good reel to me. Um, had this reel for a long, long time. This reel was handed down to me by my father when I was probably around about six. Doing better year to learn overhead. Well, I was little year like my dad learned it in probably a couple of days, but it's uh, the sorry the label's worn out. I think it's a Jarus 
Walker, yeah, Jarvis Walker, J A R Y I S Walker, the Marlin in the middle. Um, you might spin on here, my good one. I'll pose it for the camera. Very nice spinner, catch quite a few readies on it. Um, oh my god, it's um, got its adjuster here. I have it usually on just one. There we go. My drag, I'm not sure it's on my drag too. I said it's like how I feel is nice. Um, I don't have it set to high. I have them set real light so that way. I've got four and a half to that line, guys, and these desperately have to be changed. I'm thinking about putting braid on. Comment how you feel about that. How you freaking not go with that. Alright, so then my setup is four and a half to that line. If I'm not sure if I said that. Oh, I just said it. But I'm not sure what detail in it. I like to have light here for a reason, so that way I've got a better fight with the fish. Um, and then my channel's going to be more. I'll give up gaming 100%. I have not played my Xbox in six months. Um, so, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start videoing fishing, a lot of fishing. Um, probably a lot of car fishing, because I know it's a little dam not far from my house where I'll do a bit of car fishing at. Um, I actually might have to video car fishing tomorrow, actually, if we catch any. Like, half pretty boring to fish for it. Like, you get one or two here that actually go pretty good, and the rest of them are just big, lazy blobs you pull in. And you got to bake them. I bank them, but uh, mm, these carp are in a dam, so they don't do much harm if you let them back go. Let them back in the water, like, oh, I've never seen someone bank them. I've seen a lot of Asian people, not to be racist, I've seen, I've seen a lot of Asian people fish there, and cats like one, not be there all day, they're not that good at fishing. They're usually floating out the baits where I find the bottom fishing for the carp is the best. Um, scooter riding, a lot of scooter riding will be coming up. I ride every single day, frequently. Um, motocross, uh, motocross fishing. <laughs> so this video's being um, filmed at four in the morning. I'm a bit, you know, <laughs> um, so sorry I'm talking fast, guys. So I'm trying to hurry up and get it in. Like, so I can going upload the video. Otherwise, because I can't film too long. Um, anyways, um, hmm, what else? Oh, yeah, motocross, hunting. A lot of hunting will be coming on. Deer hunting, um, pig hunting, and. That's about it that I'll do. Um, maybe a bit of four drive, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm going to be uh, motocross riding, I love motocross. I have my motorbike, so I'll do a video on my motorbike. If I, have it, oh, I already have done a video on my motorbike, actually. Sorry, with the hiccups. Um, fishing, my husband, four time of a bowler. Um, been getting a few snappers this year, 2017. That's right, 2016, last year. Um, hmm. Uh, tuna come back on, so probably a couple of tuna vids coming up. Um, I'm catching 20 kilo ones at the moment at um, Holland and a couple that uh, I forgot the name for it. Oh, I can't think of it, guys, sorry. Um, shit. <laughs> I forgot the name. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll leave it in the comments, guys, when I remember it finally. Um, so, yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up for a unit, obviously for me as well. Um, give me some feedback, guys. And leave a thumbs up for Fox and the unit, and obviously myself. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, come get into conversations with me in the comments. I'm not too fine, I'm mad, I don't, bad. <laughs> I don't mind to get into a conversation with you guys. I'll even give you my social medias. So yeah, alright, guys. Peace out. I'm going to take my camera, so. Yeah. I'll let it begin. Peace out.